Welcome back, everyone. Thanks for joining me. It's so good to have you here. I'm excited because we're going to do another um, fun tutorial. This is actually what you're looking through is my sketchbook that I made by Arches Peeper. And this is two of the exercises from the sketchbook watercolor class for beginners. So if you're interested in taking this course, I think you would learn so much in it. There's all kinds of things from developing uh, things in your sketchbook to just getting used to your colors, learning about techniques and different things that you can do. I mean, there's so many projects in that sketchbook class. I think you would really enjoy it. Um, it is geared for beginners, but there are so many techniques to learn that you really can't outgrow it. And I do add more videos to it. Anyway, let's get to this next project. As you know, on this channel, I have been kind of working through some of these really cool projects and uh, go back and check out these videos if you haven't yet because they were really really good. So today I'm gonna get a permanent uh, Molotow pen, a black liner. I love this because it's a permanent water-based made in Germany pen. I have them in all sizes. They are incredible and they work out really well. To hold my, hang on, just getting my clip here out of my little box. So to hold my sketchbook down, I just clamp it. Nothing fancy. <laughs> and I have a little straw. You can use a pipette. This is going to be a really cool, really fun, and actually very fast little watercolor. So I thought I was actually sitting playing with this the other day and you guys always ask me about this this is the portable painter I actually reviewed this on this channel so go check it out because I love it because it has these two little water things if you're looking for a really good uh, just small way to take your watercolors with you this portable painter is amazing and it just really like I paint on my balcony and just take it anywhere with me it's so cool it like compacts into nothing. All right. So anyway, we're going to do a basic, uh, really fun abstract floral. And this is great for greeting cards. It's great if you want to make prints out of it. There's so many things you can do with these kinds of designs. And it's a great way for you to start getting into watercolor and just experimenting with shapes, your paint, and just having a really good time, even with your kids or your grandkids. This one I feel has been a really big favorite. I did a lot of these in the watercolor for beginners course. And of course I thought this would be a really fun one to do. All right. So first we're going to take our permanent pen. We're going to have, we have hundred percent cotton watercolor paper here, and we're just going to draw in some flowers. Um, yes, it requires you to kind of draw, but you know, look, draw what you can draw. <laughs> so don't, don't get fancy. You know what I mean? Just kind of scrape in some really fun shapes and don't get hung up on it because ultimately the rougher these are and the more interesting they are, the better they will look. So I'm just kind of roughing in some really interesting shapes. Believe me, over time, I think this is out actually, over time you will get better at this for sure. I actually really like to just scribble when I do these because I used to have a teacher when I was younger and he used to teach us how to not lift. Like it was a challenge to draw and not lift your pen. And we used to have to trace everything from our thumbs and to anything. And it was really interesting because you would look at a shape and you, you guys should actually do it. You would look at a flower or a shape and you would try and do it from eye without lifting up your pen. And I found that it's really an interesting challenge and makes some really cool looking drawings. You know what I mean? It really does. So these are just some kind of basic poppies and 
Uh, if you don't have any ideas for shapes, I actually have a ton of photographs that I take from here home in Florida. Every spring we have not in Florida. Oh my gosh, I'm not in Florida anymore. Hello. I'm in Canada now. Okay. So every spring we have the most beautiful flowers every single day here for like six months. And I take so many photos and I make them all available for my watercolor students. So if you want access to that, just go to the group page on Facebook because that's where you can get that. All right. So we got a basic, nice, interesting looking thing. You could put some words on there like, um, let's see, what could we put on here just for fun? We need something inspiring. I need to think of something really quick, fast, ready? I know what we're going to say. We're going to say beauty. is everywhere. Yay. So nice. Okay. So just basic, right? Just a nice little card. Okay. So now we're going to take uh, one of my fun little Tinturito brushes here that I like so much. Doesn't really matter for this exercise what brush you're using actually, because we're pretty much going to let the paint just do the work. Um, for this, Let's take a little bit of lemon yellow or cad yellow or Hansa yellow, whatever you have that is a bright kind of like bright, vivid yellow. And I'm just kind of digging in my palette here and getting a bunch of it on my brush. Now the idea is to drop in a bunch of this color just kind of like splat right like that uh, just don't be definitely don't be shy I just I love to just get my paintbrush wet get a nice juicy brush and literally put as much color down as I can now the more color and more concentrated this color is right now the better this will work and the least you'll have to go back later and you're like oh my gosh what is she doing just watch this is fun so okay I'm gonna leave the color on this brush here and I'm gonna just load another brush with a second color and the second color I want to use is this opera pink you can use a Quinn Rose in fact I might even add a little Quinn Rose but I'm just getting a very very watery highly concentrated amount of it and again we're going to just mix it right in there. Get some more water in my brush. And I'm splashing these right on there. Oh, I should have covered that other side, but that's okay. Here. <laughs> Doesn't matter. It's a sketchbook. Literally, those of you who are worried about doing stuff in your sketchbook, oh my gosh. Guys, your sketchbook is where you make a mess. If your sketchbook looks too perfect, you're either not challenging yourself or you are um, trying too hard. You're not having fun. Okay, so we've got lots of water. Now this can be done with a pipette. You can, a pipette is one of those little, um, little droppers, right? You can actually get some, you can put watercolor in your spray bottle you could get like Dr. P.H. Martin watercolor, liquid watercolors. You could do anything you want to. So I'm adding those two colors together. You see how the yellow has uh, started to mix in, right? Well, we can go back and we can actually brighten that up later. I'm just kind of dotting it around and just playing here, getting really crazy with it. How fun is this, right? So awesome as the colors mix. Now that you have that, here's what we're going to do. So let's put our things aside. We're going to take our straw. I'm going to get you nice and close here so you can see. And we're going to blow the watercolor that way towards the top of the flower. So hopefully I can get in here and <laughs> use this straw at the same time.
So see how it's just kind of shooting out? That's what we want. Oh, that one's good. Okay, I think, can you guys see? Hopefully you can see it. Let's see. There, you can kind of see it. I'm going to turn my page because I want another one going this way. Perfect. Yay. And okay, so you can do that with a little straw. You can do it with a pipette. You know, like there's a lot of things you can do to force that watercolor out. So I'm going to take another brush and some clean water and I'm just going to carefully clean up my edges here and just flick some of these puddles in different directions. Just to loosen them up a little bit. And then I can tap to smudge some areas. I can go back and grab a little bit more color and like just enhance some of these areas a little bit more like the interior of a flower. You can grab another color, maybe a little bit rosier color. How cool is this, right? So you see what I'm doing is we, we came from a very organic shape. Now there's a little puddle here. So to get the puddle out of the way, because you don't really need the puddle to be there. Let me readjust my camera so you guys can see really well. Okay, so to get the puddle out there, I'm just going to just take my rag and just kind of dab a little bit just to clean up the mess because you don't really need the puddles right i actually like it when it it's it has varying color in it so it's kind of nice to take some of the color out and make it a little more messy so i'm also going to clean up around my edges here i have a habit of doing that because i can kind of see what i'm doing a little bit better and before it dries, it's always easier to clean it. Of course, I have it all over my desk, which that'll just clean up with the water anyway. Okay, so now we can go back and we can, like I said, we can drop in some neat areas of color. I would not go crazy here. I would keep it as organic as possible because this looks really good to me. You know, I think it's really interesting and fun. I'm going to grab some darker uh, pink and again just kind of build out some shaded areas in my design and this is entirely up to the artist at this point uh, as to what you want to do. I think sometimes it's even good to let it dry, you know what I mean, and see what you're left with. Like I really want some more shades of uh, yellow in here. And I contaminated my yellow, of course, so I'm just going to clean it up a little bit with some clean water. And this is a great thing because you can have the dirty water on one side and the clean water on the other side. And bam, what else do you need in life? So I'm just going to go through here and tap up some yellow. Now, I would prefer actually to wait until this dried, but just so that I could do it a little bit easier, but that's fine. That's good. So I'm just going to leave it at that. Now you have the option of adding green. You can add actually some green and paint right down those, those nice leaves. So let's take our original uh, yellow on our brush and mix in it with a little bit of blue. Or this is, what is this? This is Viridian. Viridian's nice. It's a really bright color. And I'm just going to really dry brush in just little bits of green and not go crazy. I'm drying brush, dry brush in is fun because it kind of like, if you look, dry brush gives you that really nice kind of like dry element, right? Dry brush element. And that's really pretty. You really, really, literally don't have to go any farther than this. I think this is wonderful and such a great thing to do with, um, 
with your friends, your family, you know, your kids, your grandkids. Like I was saying, this is a fun thing because you can pick just two colors. You've already got the drawing already in there. You can actually do a bunch of drawings at first, you know, on a great big sheet of watercolor paper and just let everybody just blow color around and have a good time. That is a great way to have fun with watercolor. All right, guys. So as it dries, uh, think about maybe doing little layers of color or going back in after it's completely dry with some more pen and ink. But either way, this is perfect, as you can see, for a gift card just to like uh, put some color down and tell somebody that you care about them and frame it. I think it's like such a neat thing. It's a great for cover. Everything uh, that you could possibly want is in this exercise, really, just to, for spring and to experiment with your flowers. I hope you guys are having a great day. If you feel like taking my class, definitely come over and join me at JacquelineJacks.com. I love you guys so much and have such a good time. I will see you in the Facebook group. Happy painting.